Hi, my name is Olga Haides. I'm a Polish director. My future debut in Nina won Best Director at the, the Baltic Sea competition two years ago. Three weeks ago was the Polish presidential elections. The re-elected president used the term LGBT to frighten the nation. He actually used the term ideology, LGBT ideology, as an offense, as something that comes from the West and is a trend that should scare people off. Those trends, in his eyes, are reflected in the rainbow flag. At the same time, Poland is now considering banning the Istanbul Convention. The convention aimed at fighting with domestic violence. In the eyes of Polish politics, politicians, uh, the convention puts religion as something responsible for violence against women. And religion apparently is something that the Polish political scene wants to defend. Last week, some activists put rainbow flags all over Warsaw on religious statues. Even the most liberal politicians said it was too much, stating that those activists should take a step back. And I think, and that is why I'm recording this message here, is that we're passed over a centrist phase. We're passed over being uh, liberal in terms of willing to fulfill everyone's goal. Because Europe is facing fascism and is facing intolerance. And if LGBT activists are said to take a step back, where else do they go? They can only go back into the closet. Here is where cinema comes in. As filmmakers, we have an obligation. We have a voice. We're in a position to talk and to create dialogue. In my opinion, we can either create or document reality. Uh, since I, I was never too, too big of a documentary director, I did one documentary in my life. Uh, I think that, you know, like in my position, I can only create really real, real, reality. Reality that can be good or bad, but that can reflect on the future in two ways. Nina, for instance, created reality that could be. We had amazing lesbian clubs in Warsaw. We had a character, the main hero, who was a lesbian who was not afraid to, to state you know, her sexual orientation at work. It was an alternate reality. It was something that I thought I would like to see here in this country. Uh, a film that is not about social dilemmas, it's not about uh, religion, it's not about being a Catholic or not in this country and being a LGBT person, it's about falling in love and how to, to state it in the best human way. On the other hand, my recent project Erotica 2022 creates reality that could be, but is something that we should be afraid of. Imagine all uh, opposition is, is, is now banned from its uh, stance and every law that the right-wing party wants to go forward with is implemented. Women in this country will turn into a tool in men's hands. This is Erotica 2022. This is something that could be in a different manner. It's a negative reality. So films can be either aspirational or negative. Both ways, either way, it's good to say that we know where we're headed or we know what we're afraid of. So for the time being, centrist times are over, in my eyes at least. The other side is not playing the for a game. So we either stand on the conscious side and knowledge and let others don't like, let, let others take us back in time. And our films have this power. We just need to learn how to use it. We just need to know how to use the dialogue and take a step forward, not a step back. Thank you.